Hi there guys, I received a question yesterday which is a very good question. Basically, uh, someone said to me something like, I've received an electric guitar or purchased one and I'm not quite sure how the electronics work, how the switches work and the knobs. Good question, it's easy to take for granted if you do know what they do. Um, firstly, I'll say there are many different styles of guitar. This is a Gibson Les Paul, but also you've got your Epiphone Les Pauls and very many instruments use this basic setup, two pickups, a toggle switch, and four knobs. Obviously, because this is the guitar I play, it's the one I'm most familiar with and the one I can tell you the most about. And the principles that I teach you will apply to most instruments. Pickups. This guitar has two sets of what are called humbuckers. So you'll notice there's a set of six magnets or six coils there. In this case, they're paired. Hum is hum, humbucker. Bucking something means to break it or stop it. So a humbucker stops hum. A guitar like a Stratocaster will have just a single, often single set of, what do we call single coil pickups, which you'll just see six like that. And if you turn those amps up loud with distortion, you get hum, the amp will be making a lot of sound. Humbuckers, as I understand it, the signal kind of travels from one to the other, to the other, to the other in an infinite loop and it goes silent as a result when you're not playing the instrument. So that's nice. This is what we call the bridge pickup because it's closest to the bridge of the instrument. This is generally called the neck pickup and you can have a middle pickup. As a general rule, the bridge pickup, or I call it the back pickup or the bridge pickup, uh, is kind of louder, bitier, shriller, cuts more. The neck pickup, warmer, rounder, a little bit softer, generally. Now on a Gibson, and here on the, you can see my toggle switch, which selects between the pickups. They've labeled a treble for the bridge and rhythm. So there's different names, rhythm, neck, treble, bridge, etc. And there's a middle selection to choose both. Now I go to treble, that's the back pickup. This one here's the volume for the treble. So if I play a note, that's the volume. Pretty simple. You can turn the volume, volume to zero is essentially silent. It will turn it off. Then this knob here, I by choice have my two sets of knobs, different colors, um, just cause my guitar tech who was repairing this guitar for me or maintaining this guitar, he didn't have a full set and I thought it looked kind of cool, but uh, conveniently I've got black knobs for my treble or bridge pickup and I've got the gold knobs for my neck pickup here. So that's the volume. This is the tone. Fairly subtle, but you can hear a slight difference in tone. So full tone will be brighter. And if you roll, roll off the tone just to bring it back, will be a bit warmer and rounder and softer. The same thing applies when we go to rhythm pickup. Now it's on zero, so it's silent, but I can turn it up to 10. This is the volume knob of the rhythm pickup. This is the tone knob. See how it just got a bit brighter and I can make it a bit duller. Subtle, it's quite dull, it's a bit brighter. Subtle with the tone, especially because I got massive distortion on this because that's the sound that I like to use. Um, actual playing tones. So one of the most classic sounds, everything on full. One of the most useful sounds. Everything on full using the bridge pickup. Pretty classic rock and roll, heavy metal, blues, distortion. Everything on full use the bridge pickup. There have been guitarists throughout history, many of them actually, that will do things like have no tone knobs on their guitars and even have no neck pickup on the guitar, just a bridge pickup and a volume. So um, I've seen Tom DeLonge from Blink-182 do that. I think I've seen Jim Root from Slipknot do that. Malcolm Young from ACDC. These are people who are basically satisfied just using a bridge pickup and a volume knob and that volume is probably often on 10. So that's a pretty classic sound, very easy. One of my favorite sounds, rhythm pickup, net pickup. Bring the volume down a bit. Maybe let's say roughly half. It's pretty imprecise. Using one of these knobs to control volume and tone is pretty imprecise. It's not like there's a little meter that reads 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I mean, it's labeled on there, but there's a pretty you know flexible element to what, to what setting you're actually on. Just kind of roll it off. That's a term that's used quite a bit in blues and rock. Roll off, roll off your volume. Just bring it down to about half. The idea between rolling back that, that volume, you can roll off the tone to about half as well. It's kind of got that bluesy, grainy sound.
Eric Clapton's famous woman tone, I think, was the tone on zero. It was the, the neck pickup volume on full tone on zero. <laughs> So that's the woman tone. I'm not the biggest Eric Clapton fan. Obviously, I love and respect him like any guitarist must, but he's not one of the players I've really delved into throughout my whole life. One who is though, Tom Morello, Rage Against the Machine, Audio Slayer, Prophets of Rage. So right now, I turn everything on full. I'm going to turn my neck pickup off. Zero. My bridge pickup is on 10. It's on full. My neck pickup here is on zero. Toggle switch. The Tom Morello sound. I love doing that. So that's a very Tom Morello thing. Hammering on with the left hand. And you're, you're, you're picking the toggle switch almost as if you were picking the notes. So you're up, down. And that's essentially when I've got one pick up on 10 and one pick up on zero. That's essentially turning it on and off, giving it that jagger sound. Da, 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 da. So that's a good one. I like to do that a lot. And another thing, when we're talking about kind of our rolling off the tone, so we might go back to the neck pickup. Let's get just a little bit of tone, just a tiny bit. I'm just gonna bring the volume up as little as I can. On these Gibson style instruments, if you bring your volume down, even though I've got distortion on that end, quite, quite massive distortion, I can get reasonably clean sound. If you wanna strum some chords. So my volume is probably on like one or two. I might bring the tone down to about six or seven. That's like reasonably clean. Comes time to play a solo, volume on 10. So that's a really good one. I'll just do that one more time before you bring the volume right, right down. In fact, the easiest way to do it is probably go to zero and then just bring it up so the instrument's audible. So you can hear you can hear this distortion, but also you can hear the strings and the notes. So it's clean enough to do something like these strumming chords. And then let's say your chorus of your song comes around, or your guitar solo, or your riff, or it's time to do something interesting. Bring up the volume. So that's a good one. Uh, another thing you can do the similar concept is use the rhythm, rhythm pickup nice and roll back so I get like, I'm on about, I'm on my neck rhythm pickup, I'm on about three and three, volume and tone, just kind of playing along, kind of a rich, warm, bluesy thing, and then it might be time to do a solo, something like that, so we switch to the other pickup, which is on full volume and full tone, that switch, opens up the guitar, so that's a good one. Uh, I haven't really talked about the middle position. Middle position has a variety of uses. Probably gets used, I would have to say the middle position gets used less than either full bridge sound or full neck sound, but that can be a really good reason for you to, to use it. You can get some nice sounds. And when you're on the middle position here, you've got both of the pickups activated. So the volume of the volume of both is relevant here, and you're creating a you're creating a blend of sounds of the two pickups. So that's something you can really experiment with. When you're in the middle position, all four knobs will affect the volume and the tone of your sound. And you can really have a bit of fun finding some sounds there. So that was an introduction to Gibson and Les Paul style electronics. Fender Strat has easy ones. It's got a five-way selector switch. So it's got a neck pickup, a middle pickup, and a bridge pickup, and then the five-way, because you can also choose in between those ones. And I'll just wrap it up there. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something, and I hope you maybe pick up your guitar and find some new tones. Thank you so much.